So here's the idea, let me set the stage for you. I got curious about what the best selling smartphone on Amazon in the United States of America happened to be. That's Amazon.com. And so I thought, hey, why don't we sit down together, take a peek, investigate what people are actually buying. Is it gonna be these expensive flagship phones or is it gonna be more budget-minded stuff? Let's head over there ourselves and then figure out what is the best selling phone, what comes in second, third, fourth, and fifth, and then go ahead and, and actually buy the best selling smartphone. Or maybe I don't need to buy it, maybe I already have it. Now, a lot of people don't know that Amazon even hosts a page like this. This is updated by the moment. Amazon best selling smartphones. And I'm gonna go for unlocked. Mmm, interesting. Best sellers in cell phones. The iPhone 8 renewed. My goodness, $179 renewed, meaning refurbished. I remember this phone. You know what's funny about this? Apple goes and puts out the iPhone SE and they charge for it uh, what I would consider to be an aggressive price, uh, $399 for Apple at least. And yet people, at least on Amazon, and there's a number of factors obviously that, that uh, would contribute here, but people are looking for even cheaper. So this is likely one of the cheapest iPhones you can find in stock, fully unlocked, and it does happen to be renewed. So what does Amazon say about that? Works like new, backed by a 90-day Amazon renewed guarantee. This is space gray, 64 gigabytes. Of course, if I change that, the price is gonna change as well. However, the fact that Apple has maintained this exact form factor, with the recent iPhone SE, I think in a weird way, look, they got one of the pictures wrong. Anyway, I think it has in a weird way, uh, it maybe encouraged people, hey, you know what? The iPhone 8 is fine. I'll take it, 179. That is a very interesting choice. Remember, this is the US Amazon. Now let's go ahead and read a couple reviews. Why did people choose the iPhone 8 in 2021? Scroll down here real quick. Uh, just don't do it. <laughs> Melissa Hathaway says, don't do it. Lesson learned with this one. I received the phone in a couple weeks, but waited for my daughter to get home from college for Christmas before activating it. After she activated it, she was having problems sending messages, etc. Went to the Verizon store for help. She was told the serial number for the phone is blacklisted because it's been reported lost or stolen. Oh my goodness. All right. That's not a good sign. Now this was back on the eight, uh, 2018, December 15th. 15. So you know how this works with Amazon reviews. Uh, a salty review like this has a potential to rise to the top, even if it's a bit dated. Let me see if I can find anything more current than that. Is anyone reviewing? Here we go. January 18th. The worst refurbished renewed device I've ever bought. Scratches, dents, damage everywhere. Oh, this is not good. Look at that. So... When it comes to refurbished, there is certainly a scale with it. And some refurbishment programs will probably toss this particular device aside. And this is not a great look for Amazon here. Uh, hopefully they can replace it with a, a more, something closer to retail. Uh, here's another example from July 19th, 2019. Works great. And this renewed device looks in much better shape. Almost new, in fact. Now I know Apple also sells their own uh, refurbished devices on their website. So that's another option to look at, likely not quite as cheap. How about this? The Pixel 4a at 349. This is 5,400 reviews at four and a half stars. By the way, that iPhone 8, 21,000 reviews. Number three is iPhone 8 in gold and space gray. And so you know what this means. If you were to combine them, the lead would be even greater anyway. Pixel 4a, this one I get, this is a, a more modern phone, obviously, than the iPhone 8. And it's from a reputable, a recognizable brand. You know what Google does with the camera stuff and the software features which come first. This is an easy recommendation for me. Did this device launch at this price point or is it a little discounted? I think it launched at that price point and it's still holding that price point. Yeah, the Pixel 4a launched at 349 and it's holding that price. And I suppose that means that that price is working and devices are being sold. Now this was no spec champion either. FHD plus 5.8 inch display, six gigs of RAM, 
can't remember which chip this had in it. It had the Snapdragon, something from the 700 series, possibly. Here we are, 4A. Yes, the 730G. So what does this tell you? Well, at least on the in the US Amazon store, people are gravitating towards the recognizable brands and taking fewer chances on the upstarts that frequently get talked about. This page, for example, is dominated by Apple and Google. Also in here, the iPhone 7, for those looking to save even more money, that's coming in at number seven, $144. Motorola makes an appearance at number six with the three-day battery life, Moto G Power. Now that's an interesting choice. What do we have, a giant battery? I don't even know this device. There's a 2021 version, which is 249, and a 2020 version, which is 219 from the original 249, 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So this is your USA battery champ, at least as far as the top 10 are concerned. Uh, but you start to understand why coming in at number two, you have a brand new phone instead of a refurbished one. People are sitting here looking at the price point of the Pixel 4a and saying, I don't even want to mess with a refurbished scenario because I can pick that up. Or maybe this Moto G Power. Why don't we round out the top 10 here? Another Motorola device over here, Moto E at 122 bucks. The G7 Plus is in 11th, and there is Blue Device. This is your cheapest on this list, $69.99. The Blue Studio Mini with a 5.5 inch HD Plus 8, 18 by 9 display. Can we catch a couple of reviews on this one? Now, you're not getting top tier specs. You wouldn't expect it at this price point. What are people saying? It's a mix, four to five on 2,500. Hands down, the best deal for a modern unlocked phone. All right, great budget. No damn case exists. That's a one star. <laughs> great phone, but can't find a case. Another one star. This is quite an issue, it appears. Anyway, so it's a little bit of a mix there. And I want to see how this list actually changes. Uh, first of all, surprising that not a single Samsung device made it. We got to go all the way down to number 14 for another refurbished phone, uh, the S9 at $238. You know what this has really uncovered for me? People are buying old phones. People don't mind buying old phones. There's a lot of refurbished phones in the top list. People are looking to save money right now in 2021. These are your top sellers on all of Amazon. And the most current phone, I mean, outside of the Pixel, the most current iPhone and iPhone 10. I guess a 10R, iPhone 10 and 10R. And those are both renewed as well. It's all refurbished iPhones in the US as far as Amazon is concerned. Very strange. Now, what if I pick the other heading, the list for only unlocked phones? I don't know if that's gonna be much different. It is not much different. A few things move around, but it's essentially the same list because most of these, oh, look at this. At number nine, we have a modern flagship. What does that tell us about? Okay, wait a second. Wait a moment. There's an S20 Fan Edition coming in at number eight. There's an S9 Renewed, the same one from previous, coming in at number seven. But the S21 Ultra, a very premium device with a very premium price tag, is showing up in this list at which number? Number nine. It's a 5G phone, top tier specification, currently being offered $1199. And that's in that Phantom Black that people wanted. Of course, if you, if you go for more storage, that price will go up, but that's interesting. This one broke through. Now, let me give you my uh, analysis here, my speculation as to why this might be the case. I think when it comes to Apple, the enthusiasts, those that are buying the top end of the spectrum, the pro models and the most current models, they're more likely to go to apple.com to do so. Samsung is working on selling through the .com but I think a lot of people buying Android are comfy on Amazon. And so the refurbished sales make sense because that's the Apple shopper who's looking strictly for budget. But I don't, I kind of understand why you're not seeing any iPhone 12 products. I mean, by the time we get to number 10, we have an iPhone 11 product. How far do we have to go for an iPhone 12 is the question. Or is it even going to be on the list? I suppose I can do a find on that iPhone 12. It's not in there, ladies and gentlemen. So 
I think my uh, my hypothesis may hold some uh, some truth here in that the Apple shopper on Amazon is the budget shopper and the Android shopper on Amazon also is but does consider a premium device up over a thousand bucks in the form of the S21 Ultra, which does hit number nine on this particular list. All right, but if the best-selling phone on Amazon is an Apple iPhone 8 on both of the lists I was able to find, I don't think I have any need to order such a thing, do I? Or maybe I do because it's renewed and I should see what I actually get in terms of quality. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this out. This one is not, why does it say for at and I clicked on the unlocked thing. It's actually reversed their lists. So if I have, if I click on the list, the best unlocked cell phones, it's actually showing me an at and specific iPhone as the top. Should be the other way around. If I just go generically to best cell phone, the best cell phone list not unlocked, then I have the fully unlocked, renewed iPhone 8 in space gray. Uh, you can just see Amazon bestsellers most popular products based on sales updated hourly and we are of course in the uh, smartphone segment of this uh, particular website the website called amazon.com all right so i guess i'm getting a space gray 179 dollars fully unlocked refurbished iphone 8. i didn't think i'd be doing this today actually but it's interesting nonetheless so i'm gonna go ahead add this to the cart not add any extra wireless plan. I want the fully, I want the fully unlocked version. We're gonna wait for it to arrive and find out if buying Apple products, specifically Apple iPhones that are refurbished on Amazon, we're gonna find out if that's an, a good idea or not based on this particular order. Wait and see, let's find out what happens. This episode of Unbox Therapy has been brought to you by Bitrix24. Bitrix24 is a business management and collaboration tool. 100% free and it's great for remote work and switching to remote work. It has a user base of more than 8 million people. Bitrix24 currently ranks as the world's most popular free sales and project management platform. Bitrix24 combines CRM tasks and projects, communications, chats and video calls, online store, contact center, CRM marketing, sales intelligence. It puts everything in one place. Bitrix24 is helping small businesses during this time by offering no limits on users for the free plan. Unlimited users free. If you sign up right now, you can double your storage. Simply use the promo code UNBOX. Provide outstanding customer support and service, track marketing campaigns, create websites and landing pages, and effectively manage employees. Bitrix24 is available either through the cloud or on mobile or as open source software that can be installed on your own servers and fully customized if necessary. You can download the mobile app in the App Store or the Android Marketplace. Bitrix24 is good for businesses and companies no matter the industry or size. Thanks again to Bitrix24 for sponsoring this episode of Unbox Therapy.